one day I was just, you know, in the process of working on new music and a new project and the beats that my producer was sending me kind of like, you know, gave me the feel of my Nutty, my first Nutty World mixtape and um, it kind of like just pushed me to do a Nutty World too. So like that's how I came along with the Nutty World too, the title. I had a first copy of my mixtape cover and it was actually kind of similar to my, my first Nutty World mixtape and I was kind of like, talking to this guy and he was telling me like you know like um you should promote this this cover and then you know hit them with another cover so that's why i decided to get you know um the the original the you know what the cover is now that's why i picked that cover to be my um nutty world two mixtape cover and i was kind of feeling the feeling the picture that i used so i'm like yeah like this like I'm calm and, and it was kind of like sexy at the same time and it fit the songs that I put on there so that's how I use that. It's not really a you know particular reason why I chose the date. Um, it really just depends on when I drop my last mixtape and I felt like it was time and I think I started working on Nutty World 2 maybe like probably like three or four months before I dropped the tape. And I'm like, okay, I should be done and should be ready to drop it in February. So that's why I dropped it in February. It wasn't nothing like special or whatever. I always choose like, I don't try to do too much with my songs on my mixtapes. I try to keep it at a point where, you know, like it's, it'll give people, you know, different, you know, it'll get, get them some time to listen to it, but not like too long. Cause I done listen to long mixtapes and it's like, you know, like you kind of like just get tired or, or want to hear something different. So I just, I'm, I'm always like making it 12 songs on the tape. That's just something like I personally do. I put my track list together on my mixtape. How I work is different. Um, when I'm in the process of working on the mixtape or whatever, I don't make a bunch of songs and then pick like, okay, which song's going on the tape. I make sure that, you know, whatever song I'm working on, whatever beat I'm writing to, like this going on the tape, you know, this going on the tape. Like I just, that's just how I work. Cause another thing, like I do everything by myself. Like I don't have no manager or nothing. So it's like, you know, I just do the best I can while I'm doing it. I ain't gonna put too much pressure on me to choose and, you know, cause I don't have nobody on, on the side of me telling me like, yeah, you know, we should do that, do that, do that, do that. So I just, that's just how I do it. I think it's a flow to my mixtape. It's, uh, it's basically mostly swag. Um, yeah, like it's, it's, it's like a swag hard but it's not drill it's not no love mixtape like it's just a mixture of you know swag and, and that you could relate to and feel like that's really the flow of my mixtape some of my favorite songs on the mixtape is i got this song called today it's a um very happy song um when you listen to it you get that happy feeling and I'm just really spitting on it, like I'm gonna have fun today and, and I'm gonna, you know, do things that's fun, you know, like, and, and I love this song because, it, you know, it, give, it gives you a happy feeling. Like, everybody who, who heard the song tell me, like, you know, I love this song, like, even if I'm mad or something, you know, I listen to it and it just make me happy. And, you know, that kind of make me feel good, that it makes other people feel good. And so that's one of my favorites. Uh, Another favorite is, I gotta say, Winter. I think it was like my, my swag on a song, like, and my, the reason, like everything I talked about on a song, just, it's basically, you know, come rock out with me, I turn into a winner, you know. Just basically saying, you know, if you with me, we gonna be good, you know, like you not gonna have no problems, I'm not gonna, not gonna be like other girls and you know you just you got your good one that's basically what that song talking about um another one of my favorites is called don't fall in love i like this song because my flow was just like spitting like it i was spitting on this song and i kind of gave females 
reasons and you know examples of why I don't want want no guy to fall in love with me. You know, like it's just I don't have time for the BS and you know guys. You know they're used to playing playing girls and not really not ready to be on the for real stuff. So that's why I made that song. Um, I gotta say, them my favorite ones. Uh, Bricks. I made Bricks. Like Bricks. Bricks was one of the first songs I actually like wrote to on the mixtape a long time ago, and the beat was just so dope. Like I had to like. I'm like, man, like I gotta write to this beat. So and then another thing, my my flow on the song, like it just was crazy. Like it was just, it was like a comeback, and, and it just. When I dropped it, like everybody was on it, like everybody, like that's raw, you know, like just giving all type of good feedback. So that was one of my favorites. It, it, it like put me back out there. Like I ain't go nowhere, but you know, like it just it put me like in a in a position like where people like yeah, like Sasha still going hard, you know, like 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 all that because I kind of like slowed down from the hard and started going to pop and all that other stuff. So I think they're my favorite ones on the tape.